Hiya, it's Sarah, and welcome back to my channel. So we left off with me discovering that flying ominous figure, and we wanted to go and hunt it, but I remembered I had to do some work, and I was pretty bummed out that I couldn't play anymore. But now we're here. We're gonna go get it, and yeah, we're gonna kick some ass. So without further ado, let's get started with Horizon Zero Dawn. Dude, can we really take that thing down? Are we really gonna fight that? That looks... It's a big bird. Let's clear these guys first and then go to the bottom. Okay, fire and tear. Got it. Oh, that blaze canister. Got it. Tear. The wings. Freeze canister. Oh. Freeze. Lightning gun. Tear. All right. Okay. Let's put some mods.
الشخصي That thing was tough. It was almost a one hit kill, basically. Oh, nice purple! Okay, let's go towards the tall neck so that we can clear out this map. Clear out this map. Let's go. Look, 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 look. Let's go. Okay, we finally reached the black box. Book it. Oh my gosh. Mm. 
why some people take two months to finish this game. in on the signal. Stocking up. Oops. 
Everyone's reflection on the water. That's so cool. They're scary for me. I mean, they didn't have to go that. Overachievers. Overachievers, the people from Gorilla. And I'm here for it.
guess we got it. Life. It's alive. <laughs> Why, pa? It's still moving. Oh, scrambling a bit. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my God, bro! It's breakdancing. I thought it was like a human. the world is that thing? Machine sight. Oh. Strength is shock. Fire tear. What in the world? What does this animal remind? What does this machine remind me of? Like in the, in the wildlife. This looks like something. I just can't. I don't know the proper term.
it in the world? Oh, it was its tail. It went down. when he throws him. He's a big boy. Look at him. Wow. Nice. That's a, I can't wait to override this guy. Maybe, can we? I, I wonder. That'll be fun. So I was gonna let you guys be, but you had to enter the fight, so. You all must meet your ma- Oh, shocks! What the heck?
Disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they were doing. Well, what? What were they doing? Now I'm curious. Wow. Okay, let's just go. Fire discovered. Where is the campfire? Oh, there. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Okay. What a day. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything Our spoil? Or bandits try to get past me? No, I'm I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. Whoa, what's Ooh. happening here? Now, what happened to Earth Settler? Has nothing to do with us. <sighs> Damn it. Some Osram girl applied to the city guard the other day. Amazing. Just be patient, and everyone will get in! Wait, can I kill this stuff? <gasps> I guess not. Should be out there fighting machines, not What's going on here? Olin's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the vanguard. Oh. Arrested two for disorderly conduct. You don't want to know what doing. Okay. I kind of want to talk to Olin and Aaron, but let's just see what else pops up. Wow. If this keeps up, I'll be broken a month. It's always the merchants. Down. 
talk to checkpoint commander. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? Oh, Any she died? How would you know his name? I know Errant. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha. Huh. I doubt that Errant, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way oh, to Meridian just to see me? Oh my goodness. Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Mm -hmm, Over mm -hmm. there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? Um... Your sister. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. But now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Um, let's say I lost someone too. I am. Uh, Ross. I lost someone too. At the proving, the man who raised me. His name was Ross. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as so though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway. There was something you wanted to tell me? It's because they're trying to be empathetic, I think. Oh, I know. Okay, now I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> a lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back. Said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Mm -hmm. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But... He's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. Okay. Time to go. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Amazing. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Oh my god. You're an alcoholic! That girl. Is she... a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm kidding. I don't want to punch you. That's proving your point. Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, 
You should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursus murder? Not now. Oh. Wait, what's that? Why is there a star? Hey, come back. Olin's place is this. Oh, it's all hunter boxes. Okay, got it. Cool. Okay. Kick it. <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Trying not to break anything. Yeah. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. See what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Who <laughs> knows how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Shows a family unit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's give it a little push. Oh, okay. Subtle. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, can I rappel down? Probably not, so I'm just gonna go back how I came. Oh, that does look like his family. Oh wait, examine family portrait. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. You gonna see what's down there? Ooh. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. <sighs> Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right, and Olin's into something dark. Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. Mm. I'll look around. That's what we came for.
Oh. Oh, that was fast. Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses oh. to burn in the sun. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was against his will. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Mm. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. For it, I'm a traitor now and see no way out. If I start at the beginning, how they turn me, perhaps I can see something I missed. You gave me this folio when you taught me to write. All these years later, it still smells of you. Thoughts there. Hands to go. However, I have done this. Oh my god, this was given by his wife. Wait, let me just check out that I didn't... Oh, what's this? There's a map. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Oh, all right. Let's go read the journal. Oops. Um... Fifteenth May, the same dream. Your hair's the forge light. Our sons wait on my shoulders. All of us free. You turn to me and whisper, "It is a dream." I answer, "Yes, I know." And then wake alone. Even awake, my life is a dream, a lie. My treachery will not buy your freedom. It only buys time. But every moment you live, that he lives. If treachery is the cost, I will pay it. 34th day. Every week the device calls me in secret to a new dig site. We work like my woodwives to our backs as though it was left to us to upturn the soil of the entire earth and time to run low. Scrabbling to find the carcasses of ancient demons since the weapons they want must be. What misery am I helping birth into? <gasps> so he's digging up weapons or the animals, the machines. I drink good Aaron and Irsa, but not even the sweetest beer can waste the taste of guilt from my mouth. Every day my silence betrays them. The villains watch through the device. I keep expecting Irsa to stick a blade through my throat, but fire and spit, she does not suspect me. Oh my god, he's the reason Irsa's dead! A better lie than I thought myself must be. Fitful sleep the past three nights, sticking on that Nora girl. Why did it order? Why did it order her kill? The device must be even so. What threat could she pose? We heard explosions and distant screams from the village. I thought the savages might blame us, turned on us. I all. Most wished for it, but their matriarchs ordered us gone. We fled to the border with an escort of braves crossed at day tower. Now I am called to dig in the rock wreath. They promise another glimpse of you of our son. How I hope to see you soon. Okay, rock wreath. Rock wreath. Okay, that's where we want to go. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? Do I tell him? Hmm. Okay, let's tell him. Because he seems trustworthy enough. The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. 
I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Of course, we'll do it. You wanna do it. <laughs> Find Olin at the exclamation. Okay. Oh, wow. Let us talk to these exclamation points first, though. Did you come to the city looking for work? <laughs> oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> I heard yeah. an interesting rumor <laughs> Don't say it like that. a new camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I... Uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banook are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Okay. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even Thank big you. enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Mm. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be. We already to have all that the though. Tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Oh. Cold eyes. Cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban-Ur. Ban in the ice. Trying to have a conversation. It's like chipping them out of the stuff they prefer machines for company that's why i'm putting my shards on this rumor then they might not want outsiders to know about this place <laughs> their mystic act no care for possessions for luxuries pile of slag those people bargain harder than the winter frost are you some kind of merchant you don't seem to have any wares Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <laughs> True. Right. More she got you there. Uh, girl. Uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. Sounds like America. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? Sounds like a capitalist. All right. <laughs> I'm more of a gambler. <laughs> If I okay, what do we need? Rumor. You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. He smiled like Chucky just now. 
You just rewind the clip, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, those are Chucky's teeth. What's this one? Oh. Oh. You need to win three half suns at our hunting grounds to gain oh, admittance to the Oh, it's another hunting grounds. Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need wow. to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. <gasps> I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Avad's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. Wow. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Marks? What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that's a <gasps> part. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you oh my god, it's actually in my mind. At each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons. One for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Blazing suns? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. Oh. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Aww. Okay. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. Yeah, we only have no three. Problem. Once you have marks from all 15, 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Nice. Okay. So that's that. Oops. Let's go out. All right. Oh. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. What is it? people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim, 
is an Arsaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glint hawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Mm. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. Oh. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Okay. Mm. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. Okay. What's this? You're disappointed with the sun priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end, he said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. Oh. So we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. What's the brother? Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. Oh. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved too. Oh. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. I think we have one last one, so let's just go here. Oops. Nora, are you? Such fascinating customers. Move along. Oh. You there, can you help me? Huh? You with the second sight, I need your help. Help with what? You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Oh, so why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay. We okay, get we get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. Nephew? How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King. So when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Okay, I'll investigate. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. 
Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Oh. All right, you guys. Um, so we were able to start all of the side quests, which I'll be doing. <laughs> Yay. Uh, but we're going to be ending today's episode right here. This game just keeps on giving and giving. Like, I wish I can give something back to you because you're so generous, Aloy. But oh, wait, now I'm just hyped all the more for February. <gasps> I can't believe it's almost 2022. But I digress. Um, as always, if you guys like this episode, don't forget to comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. Like my thumb. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.